Well, you goddamn plebeians. Your boy Neo is back. With, of course, <laughs> channel mascot Hogwarts. Soft sleeves. And a Zeneca Rising Collector's Booster Box. T-Money, welcome to the stream. I don't know how many of you are actually going to make it tonight, but you know, <clears throat> this will probably be one of my last Zendikar Rising Collector's Booster Boxes that I open. I have one in storage and three more coming. They're going to stay in storage. Tonight, I'm going back to the Thunderdome by myself for a very intimate stream. Tonight, it's just you and your boy Neo cracking $200 worth of booster packs. <clears throat> I just saw the Monster Hunter movie, and let me tell you what, I was pleasantly surprised. Lads, it's time to crack this bitch open. No, I'm not going to adopt you. Trust me, you do not want me to adopt you. I'm way, way more serious with real life dealings than I am with YouTube. If you make it to the stream tonight, great. If you don't, you'll have to watch the VOD because... I have, I had probably one of the best nights I've had in a long time. Tonight, I went to see the Monster Hunter movie with some of my closest friends, and we went to a Dave and Buster's for the first time ever afterwards, and let me tell you what, it was Poggers. Had a great time tonight, I'm feeling amazing, Hoggers is here with us, Hogwarts, and we are going to unbox one final collector's booster. Ricky? Let's get some epic pulls, lad. <clears throat> I know you're here with me doing this, Ricky. I know this is your jam. You and I, we are going to burn this mother to the ground. Yep. I would never been to one before. My friend had never been to one. She's one of my closest friends. And her and I and two of our other friends had a great, great time. Let me tell you what. Tonight was an absolute blast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We are going to have a hits and a shits pile. That's how these packs are going to go. We're going to burn this mother to the ground, lads, one last time. Oh my god, I thought the cards were damaged, but no, it turns out that's a pathway. T Money, what's up, lad? Scavenge Blade. Territorial Scythe Cat, Malakir Blood Priest, Cleansing Wildfire, Cunning Geyser Mage, Marasa Sproutling, Lol Mage Domination, Turn My Cards Upside Down. There is, oh my god, and I dropped it, a beautiful foil island. First rare of the pack is a Zagras Thief of Heartbeats. That goes in the shits pile. Second card. Coveted prize. That also goes in the shits pile. Third card. McKinney Ox will join the shits pile. The fourth card. Territorial Scythe Cat. Shits pile. The fifth card is a Branch Loth slash Boulder Loth Pathway. That will go in the hits pile. Fifth card is a Canopy Baloth. And our unrevealed card is Skyclave Relic. That will also go in the shits pile. All right, lads, let's continue. You know, there's actually probably some money here in these cards. I just don't care. The chase cards in Zendikar Rising, no matter what anybody tries to convince you, the chase cards are the pathways. Deliberate. Cliffhaven Sellsword. Ghastly Gloom Hunter. Utility Knife. Neri's Binding, Attended Healer, Colony Ambush. That happens. First rare of the pack. Inscription of Rune, that is a shit. Magmatic Channeler, that is actually a hit. 
Dreadworm, a shit. Canopy Bala, a shit. Here we go. Sky Clay Relic and Phylath World Sculptor. Two shits in a row. And our card. Nighthawk Scavenger. That is a shit. Let's go to pack number three. Resolute Strike, Might of Mermasa, Disenchant, Timber Time Aesthetic, something, Cyan of Swarm, Skyclave Geopede, Mountain, First Rare, Squad Commander, that is a shit, Second Rare, Glass Pool Mimic, Foil, Bleeding into Glass Pool Shore, that is a hit. Back home Hellhound, that's a shit. Canyon Jerboa, that's a shit. Nissa of Shadow Bows, that is a hit. Skyclave Squid, that is a shit. And our face down potential expedition is a Luminarch Aspirant, that is a shit. Let's move on to our next pack. I believe this is number five. No, number four. Hope everybody is doing well tonight. Thanks for stopping into the stream. To watch me do one more collector's booster box for Zendikar Rising. Solaport Duelist, Sneaking Guide, Expedition Skulker, Telfport Rubbleport, Glacial Grasp, Cleric's Lifeblood, Spiked uh, Hazard, and of course, a Forest. First Rare. Skyclave Relic, an absolute garbage card. Actually, it might be okay, honestly. Nary's Lithoforming. I'm going to put that in the shit pile for now. McKindy Ox. Kezandu Nectar Pot. And then we have Bright Climb Pathway with the Grim Climb Pathway. That is a hit. We also have a Kazandu Nectar Pot. A double Kazandu Nectar Pot. And our foil... Omneth, Locus of Creation. That is a foil mythic, and that is actually going to get a sleeve. It's not an amazing card, but it is not a total tr piece of trash. <sighs> Next pack, and we have yet to touch Expeditions. We have yet to see a single Expedition come through, and I'm thinking this pack is not going to be any different. Valakut Stoneforge foil with the Valakut Awakening. That will go in the hits pile, but that will also take the slot of our expedition. We're actually going to just fly through these. Dreadworm, Infelidar Retreat, Fearless Fledgling, Spitfire Lagok, Thieving Skydiver, Ancient Green Warden for the big hit, and a Plains. That Ancient Green Warden is a huge hit. That's a really good card and one of the power cards from the set. Sorry, guys, when I see that double-sided uh, non-foil uh, or non-expedition card, I just get kind of disappointed. This is our fifth pack. We still have not seen a single expedition. I have a feeling that this is going to be one, and I have a feeling this is going to be a big one. Ardent Electromancer, Negate, Blood Price, Prowling Felidar, Canopy Bala. Fearless Fledgling. Let's go, lads. Umara Wizard and an island into the Nighthawk Scavenger, into the Taziri Beacon of Unity, into the Dreadworm, into the Scythe Cat, into the Clear Water and Murk Water Pathway and the Cannon Jerboa. Now, lads, let's get real. Here's another opportunity at an expedition. Still no expedition. Archon of Ameria. A trash rare. Pack number six. We have, so this is going to be, oh man, this is pack seven, guys. Ugh. I mean, we better pull something here or we're going to end up in trouble. Dauntless, Tajuru, oh my god. They're going to give me, they're going to be, it's going to be a crap box, guys. It's going to be a crap box. First rare. Maddening Cacophony in the shit pile. Lanala, Shield of the Gate, shit pile. Prowling Felidar, shit pile. 
GOP and shit pile. Lotus Cobra, that goes in the hit. Scythe Cat, that goes in the shit. And our foil. Jace, Mirror Mage, Foil Mythic. You know what? That can have a sleeve. I don't think he's worth very much money, but that lads can have a sleeve. You know what's weird is I pull a Jace Mirror Mage from this set, it ain't worth jack shit. But you pull a Jace the Mind Sculptor from a Double Masters booster box, it's worth $130. Chilling, Kabira, Adventure Awaits, Kite Sail, Hellhound, Brushfire, Zoth Consumption. I literally have enough cards to make any deck I want at this point. First rare. Linvala, Shield of the Seagate, Trash Rare. Shatter Skull Charger, Trash Rare. Dreadworm, Fearless Fledgling, Clearwater Pathway into the Murkwater Pathway. Another pathway for the collection. And another Dreadworm. Absolute garbages. I'm going to have to believe in the hardwood cards because I'm telling you guys right now, these are some of the worst packs I've ever opened. We still have not touched an expedition and we only have four more booster packs. What do you think, Hogwarts? <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy either. And our face down card. Oh my god. Coral Helm Chronicler. This is getting depressing, guys. I've only got four packs left, and I have not touched an expedition. I have not touched an expedition, and I only have four packs left. Scorch, Hagra, Shepherd, Nimana, Cleric. Skyclave Plunderer, Vastwood Fortification. First rare, Soul Shatter. Second card, Roiling Vortex. Skyclave Squid, Canopy Baloth, Jace Mirror Mage Non Foil, Fearless Fledgling. I mean, I think the Jace is like $2. Ugh, guys, this is not good. Oh my god. I have not opened a single expedition yet. This isn't funny. I have three packs left to pull, pull at least one expedition. This is bad. Like, this is a shit box. scared guys I'm really nervous Timbertine Symbiosis that's one I wanted Emerius Call Skyclave Squid Prowling Felidar a pathway for the collection and a Spitfire that turn timber Symbiosis is a card I really wanted it's a nice pull and it's going to help me get some value back out of this box face down card guys this is a one expedition box. <sighs> I don't remember the last time I was this disappointed. Because the expeditions are where you get your money. Skyclave. Kazandu Mammoth, Kazandu Valley. Rune Crab. There's a hit. Spitfire, Shadow's Verdict, Grack Maw, and a Mountain. This is a terrible garbage pack. If that is not an expedition, oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anything can save this box. Honest to God. Last pack. Oh boy.
Confounding Conundrum, Lotus Cobra for the hit. Kazandu, Skyclave, Shade, Hellhound. If this is not an epic freaking hit, this box is a bust. Windswept Heath Foil. You know what? It's one I don't have, and it is a decent hit. Is it card of the year? No. Is it $200? No. Is it $5? No. Does it get a sleeve? You goddamn fucking right it does. Am I pissed off? You damn right I am. This is one of the worst boxes I have ever opened. Ever. And to be honest with you guys, I straight up should not have opened it. I, gra I clearly grabbed the wrong one. two expeditions to open and then I have a tr I have a surprise to try to save the night well, let me tell you guys this box was a bust one of the worst boxes I've ever opened <clears throat> I would have taken three ten dollar expeditions in the in the foil slots and I did get a foil uh, windswept teeth so it's not a total disappointment but, guys, that could have been a lot better. Kind of a letdown tonight. I wanted to come down here and I wanted to have some fun with you guys tonight. And I am having fun, don't get me wrong. I'm just a little bit disappointed that I got a one expedition box on the stream. That, that, that is really a letdown. I have two expeditions here, and this one's actually a little bit bent. First expedition. Grove of the Burn Willows. Disappointing card, but one I don't believe I have. And Copper Lion Gorge. That one I believe I have, maybe. But they're two nice expeditions, and honestly, at the end of the day, I'll take them. Yeah, this box was a letdown. And these both expeditions are damaged. Oh, my God. It's like some force somewhere legitimately wants to just piss me off. Oh, man. Yeah, this is a total letdown. These are decent cards, though, and they're ones I don't have yet. I know what some of you are thinking. Neo, what did you think about the Monster Hunter movie? Already recorded a video for it. Why not? Why not? Let's burn it down. We can do one more of these to try to save the night. for you guys. Frogify, Ancestral Blade, Weapon Surge, 
Apprentice Wizard, Death Hood Cobra. God, these cards are beautiful. Sickle Slicer, Defiant Salvager, Kozilek's Predator, Eager Construct, Buried Ruined, Oryx Salvagers, Master Splicer, Invigorate, Death Reef Ritual, Trash for Treasure. Here we go, lads. Let's let's finish this balding pleb style. Thirst for knowledge? Your mom thirsts for knowledge. Flicker Wisp. Craig and Wick Cremator. Maelstrom Pulse. I actually think that Maelstrom Pulse is a decent card. Not sure if it's worth anything, but it will get a sleeve just because I've heard about I've heard of it before. And the first showcase. Meddling Mage. A really disappointing pull. I think the card's worth about five dollars. Final pull. Alright. You know what? I'll take it. Karn Liberated is not a bad pull. That's about fifty-five bucks. <clears throat> I like it. I'll take it. It's a second Karn. Anytime you can pull a Karn Liberated, it's really unfair to complain and bitch and whine because it is a really good card to pull. I don't know if I'm just sour tonight or what my deal is, but uh, would have liked to have seen a better return on my Zendikar Rising Collector's Booster tonight. I don't know if I'm going to be opening any more of those, though I will be honest with you guys, those have been my favorite packs to open. Our pulls from tonight, Copper Line Gorge, Grove of the Burn Willows, Windswept Heath, Karn the Braided, and Medley Mage. You guys stay tuned because I think the next time you see openings like this is either going to be Flesh and Blood, Crucible of War, or it's going to be uh, Kaldheim. Neil with Baldwin Pipes, thank you guys for being here for this short and sweet live stream. And we'll see you right here next time. GG, you damn plebs.